Let's just start off by talking about uh, the potential of uh, what we could see when it comes to uh, the geothermal prospects in uh, Kenya. We're talking about projects that could range to around 7,000 megawatts within Kenya's Rift Valley. Obviously, we're taking it step by step. What you're actually looking for is funding uh, of around $750 million, if I'm not mistaken, for around 3,000 megawatts of geothermal energy production. Actually, yeah, you are right. We are looking at about seven to 10,000 megawatts for the entire rift. However, for Menengai Geothermal Project, we have a potential of about 1,600 megawatts. And for the phase one uh, uh, funding, we require about 847 million US dollars. And that is to undertake exploration drilling and uh, production drilling. Okay, so let's just take, take us through the first phase that we're seeing right now because we're looking at the 400 megawatts uh, in Men and Guy at this stage. We know that the uh, African Development Bank uh, has been working very closely with you with regards to funding. Tell us about how that is actually going, uh, that project worth around, around $25 million. Actually, the Men and Guy project is going very well. We've got... Uh, uh, three wells that are uh, on discharge test at the moment. We've confirmed a resource that we believe is more than 400 megawatts. And uh, we are very excited with the African Development Bank that uh, they have had trust in us and they are giving us about 120 million US dollars. And in addition, uh, they're going to give us 25 million US dollars under uh, SREP. That is a scale up of uh, renewable energy program. Uh, let's talk about the, the investors that you are looking for with regards to future prospects as well. We know that there's various investors that have shown interest. Of course, there are very uh, strict criteria uh, for those that are, do want to uh, invest in the geothermal projects because at the end of the day, they need to make energy very accessible to Kenyans. Uh, tell us about the, the process that is currently ongoing. Uh, for Menengai project, uh, we've done expression of interest and uh, we are pleased to announce that uh, we've shortlisted 19 firms that are very keen to develop the 400 megawatts. We've also opened up, uh, we're opening up a, a new area in the north called uh, Silali Bogoria block and similarly we advertise for expression of interest and uh, we are very happy that many international firms have shown interest in partnering GDC to develop uh, geothermal resources in these areas. Uh, tell us about when you think that uh, all of this is actually going to uh, come to fruition. Uh, we're talking about an environment where there isn't enough electricity penetration in Kenya, and this is going to be a very vital step. For Menenga, actually what we want to do is uh, we want to start with modular power plants, for which we'll use to power our existing rigs and the four additional rigs that we're procuring. And... Uh, we are looking at uh, the 400 plant, megawatt plants being coming online by the year 2015. And uh, by that time, uh, geothermal resources, the additional 400 megawatts will constitute about 20% of Kenya's installed capacity. And uh, we can report that uh, we are on track to achieving our targets. Um, very quickly, I just want to give you an indication with regards to uh, the cost of electricity. We know that the successful firms uh, will be expected to reduce electricity by as much as half of the 12 shillings per kilowatt uh, per hour at present. Uh, this is obviously going to change the scenario quite extensively, uh, but are the companies still going to remain relatively profitable uh, if you look at this scenario that could play out where electricity will be much cheaper? Actually, we believe uh, the electricity will be cheaper because, uh, number one, we are drilling using our own equipment and using uh, GDC on rigs, rigs, we have been able to reduce the cost of drilling by half. And that will translate directly into lower tariffs. So once we start producing for geothermal, we will certainly see prices of electricity reducing significantly. We are looking at about 50% uh, reduction in tariffs from geothermal sources.